Hello guys, as promised, bring you another video once again, and uh, this is how to optimize performance with Defragler. And in my previous video, I said, uh, oh, I didn't say, but I couldn't find um, the stock or the yeah, the stock applic the applicator. It's not really not, yeah, it's an application but anyway. I couldn't find it in the previous video. I end up clicking on random stuff that I. Uh, it wasn't the actual one so I actually found it in the end it's called optimized drive for some reason and in order to find it on Windows 8 you go on file um, oh, explorer commuter and right click and go in properties tools and optimize and it's here this is the Windows 8 or equivalent to um, defragment disk defragmentator and um, and here it is. Uh, it's really basic, bare bones stuff. It's um, it doesn't give you a lot of information as uh, little geeky people like I am um, like to see. Uh, so that's why I'm going to show you um, this other piece of software, freeware by the same company once again, the old Pryform. Pryform is an excellent company, which obviously also. Um, uh, also made C cleaner as well so here it is um, so we're going to download the latest version obviously uh, takes a little uh, not a little while but uh, a couple of minutes or so or less than that depending on your internet connection and some reason on Google Chrome it freezes out 39 out of 39 or whichever I don't know why it does that it's pretty weird uh, so bear with me so now it's uh, downloaded. Uh, just click on that. Uh, obviously, you will get a user account control bollocks. Just say yes to it. Um, yeah. So select your uh, language, and I've also noticed they don't have. Uh, usually, have their variations of English. They have uh, U.S. and uh, English and U.K. English, but only on here by the looks of it they've they've just put English there's nothing else so that's uh, one thing that they haven't included in the software but that's not a problem English is English really um, in some cases not always um, but here it is anyway um, install options uh, like I did on the other one I didn't want it on on my start menu and this the one depending on if you really want to replace it I don't recommend it R recommend to do so because if this software um, uh, has a foam funny moment and it doesn't work then you know you haven't got the stock one on your computer anymore so I would really recommend it untick uh, untick that one because you don't want to replace the uh, normal normal uh, disk fragmentator so install that um, install and obviously you can see the details like on the last one which is nice see how it's uh, installed and extracted etc and obviously again you get these two nice uh, settings or well, not really nice but uh, if you're really interested you can look at the release notes and see what they've improved on this version of it um, we could show you that actually uh, it basically takes you to their website or I think it's their website uh, yes it does and it tells you what they've improved etc but we're not going to go into that so um, yeah so here it is uh, here's here's the software very nice you've got as I was saying it gives you a whole more whole more whole more a lot of more information than uh, than normal on the uh, the stock one. As I was saying, you get a lot of information here. Um, file list. It tells you how many files. It or tells you what files it's uh, fragmented or defragmented, whatever. Um, you can search uh, different perimeters of the uh, software or what you're looking for, and the drive map. And the drive map is very useful and um, uh, it's very useful and it shows you uh, what is actually going on in this here usually obviously because it's not in progress it will go like a, it just will just go gray it won't tell you what it's doing because it's not doing anything so it this gives you a nice key uh, very helpful indeed 
and it tells you what it's doing in certain areas of the, the hard disk or the disk of the hard drive. Um, I'm not going to show you health because that releases information that I don't want to, which is sensitive obviously of my hard drive, um, serial number etc. I don't want to show that but I've noticed there's, I think there is a photo on the website which I will show you so bear with me. I couldn't find a photo or a screenshot of um, of what it looks like but here it is anyway. Um, this gives you also the health, the life of, the, in a sense, the life in the sense of um, your hard drive, which is good in his case, uh, which mine's good as well. Uh, the temperature of it, of the hard drive as well is 23, and mine's usually 30. That's not um, nothing to worry about. If it is quite high, this will go uh, yellow if it's in the mid range, and then it probably will go red if you, you, your hard drive is overheating. Um, in that case your probably computer will probably shut down before that anyway but I'm not sure I've never encountered um, hard drivers high drives overheating because I keep my computer fairly cool um, obviously uh, the information as I said it gives uh, serial numbers which I didn't really want to release obviously this guy obviously didn't realize or he just doesn't care um, obviously it tells you all the information, uh, power on counts, power on hours and obviously hours is being 4187 and as I was saying about the, or I didn't was what I was saying, um, the errors and it, his rates he's got is uh, 51 uh, I think yeah, or well, the worst he's got 200 but that I, I don't know but this gives you a whole load of it more information than just what you usually get with the stock one as I was saying um, uh, which which is the one that I, I was quite interested oh yeah this one here it comes the worst temperature he's got on his hard drive apparently is 105 which is quite high um, so there you go it gives you a whole host of information this is what I love about this software and if you're a geeky like guy like me and you want to see this kind of stuff this is perfect software for you and we're back at um, the software again and we're gonna go through the settings and there's not much settings that need to be changed to be quite honest um, if you uh, read it in different um, measurements of temperature for example Fahrenheit or centigrade then for me it's centigrade for Americans I think it's uh, uh, Fahrenheit or it is yes definitely is Fahrenheit um, you can choose and if you've clicked the wrong uh, language don't worry it's right here it's all there for you um, uh, on the next one you've got that which uh, you cannot change by the looks of it uh, nor that or that um, as I said, if you have mistakenly pressed replace uh, Windows defragmentator, don't worry, you can untick it from here. Um, uh, you can save all your settings to an, a file if you really uh, wanted to. Um, uh, when when it's running, you can minimize it to the tray if you really wanted to. But keep all these settings the same if you don't want to change them or if you don't understand what they mean so keep this all uh, ticked or unticked whatever uh, so yeah so now we're going to actually use this uh, pro, uh, this um, uh, this software and so what we basically do we can either analyze it first then defrag but the thing is I think it does analyze before it defrags um, or after it or well, yeah, before it defrags, I should say. Um, uh, so uh, there's two uh, ways of doing this. You can do a quick defrag or a, just a normal defrag. And the normal defrag usually takes considerably longer, as it's just um, a full scan in a sense, uh, as a pe compared to the quick defrag, which is in the name quick, um, which goes a quite a fast pace it, it depends on how big your hard drive is and how big obviously the partition is uh, what you're scanning for example mine's um, 372.6 gigabytes 
so it's not really big so it should go quite fast um, but uh, the last computer I tested on only had an 80 gigabyte hard drive and it was relatively good on both so it depends on how big the partition is and how big the hard drive is and how how fast your hard drive can go uh, mine can only go up to I think it's 5400 RPM and on on the uh, other one it can do 7200 um, yeah, seven out and two hundred yeah, RPM, and that's obviously considerably faster. Uh, but it's not always about the speed of the hard drive as such. It's about the CPU as well, how much it can uh, fetch and execute. And I'm not going to go too technical, but that's it's not always about the hard drive speed. So, for in this case, we're going to do a quick defrag. And quick defrag is in obviously, and there's something in the bin, and obviously it's quite helpful that it actually uh, it tells you this. Um, so I'm going to say yes because I think it's um, some um, installation or installers, I should say, that I've got in the bin. Um, so it builds a file list of uh, all the data uh, that's on this. Um, that's on the all. I think it's either all the data on C drive, or the most important, uh, which is like system and etc. So it builds a nice file list there. So it takes a little while, and as you as you can see, it's starting or started, and um, it calculates a time on how uh, how long this will take. But remember, this is an estimate time. It's not the actual time. So when you do see a day like for example 19 hours now um, it, this will not take 19 hours depending on if you've clicked quick or the actual full scan the the, the defrag this will take less than an hour which I usually usually get out for about maybe half an hour it usually takes me um, obviously I'm not going to record all of it of its progress because this will probably get boring so um, I'm going to resume when once it's finished I'll resume back and uh, we can show you as I said this uh, definitely picks up after a while the remaining time as I said it is an estimate time so don't worry don't be too frightened by the time <laughs> unless uh, if you've got it on um, uh, on defrag and also I was going to add uh, this, this is a message out to the subscribers as well um, what do you would like to see on my channel um, I can do anything from obviously uh, probably yeah I could do two commentaries yeah dual commentaries um, I can post up more, more reviews if I can review anything else uh, that I get um, anything really just drop me a message and um, and I'll see if I can do it because I'm, I'm quite interested uh, if you guys what you want to see because after all yes you viewing this uh, this kind of stuff but um, so yeah drop me a message or a comment under this video or etc and I will shall get back to you as I said in my other video um, hopes and futures I think the uh, the video is called and um, it, this it, it won't be present this year, obviously, um, because I'm only 16, and obviously next year I'll be 17. So, because uh, I'm not going to ride around on a 50cc, because I generally don't like them. Um, but next year, when it's present, I will uh, be bringing coverage, obviously, of uh, me. Uh, whatever it takes me really uh, whatever I I can um, upload whatever the topic is really so it won't come it will be present this year obviously next year so uh, stay tuned for that also and also any suggestions on what I should have as my username at the moment it's uh, well it still is technically still is Alex of RuneScape because obviously when I was younger in 2007 or 8 whenever I uh, made this account I was quite into um, into RuneScape and um, at the moment obviously I'm not interested of that anymore I've gone out of that 
quite quickly years ago so um, drop any suggestions and what I should have as my username at the moment I've uh, kind of changed it to the mod as my gamer tag on Xbox Live um, because I can't really think of anything else really so give me a suggestion on what I should have and um, maybe uh, one of your suggestions might become my new username and it has finished so there you go it fragmented 488 uh, total fragments 20,000 uh, 20, and that was 10% fragmentation and you can view the files as I said that's all the files it had scanned and you can also benchmark the drive so I know mine's not the best because it isn't the best because obviously this is only a 5400 I think RPM um, um, uh, hard drive so it's not going to be the best results so this should take less than a minute or so as, as it says estimate that's a good estimate right there not all the time it's good, it gives good estimates but there you go um, so once that's done I shall resume so there you go so 1.33 megabytes per second <laughs> Um, I'm not sure that's good. I've I haven't uh, really compared anyone else's results before, so um, I guess that's okay for the speed of the hard drive, etc. So there you go. If yours is better, drop in a comment and put yours underneath or uh, well, in the comments below. So there you go. So this is um, this is defragger, and um, also you can uh, do the other partition there's two obviously um, not always obviously but uh, on most computers when they default uh, by um, partitioning hard drives they do a C and a D and um, you can part uh, you can uh, defrag the D but I've got nothing on there there's absolutely nothing hence why it's a hundred percent free so it'll be pretty pointless actually doing it um, so yeah this is um, defragler and I uh, hopefully this uh, actually improves your performance of your computer because it it's not a really really noticeable change but it's definitely when you open programs once it fetches uh, different stuff uh, from the hard drive and loads it like that it, it, it does really show so thank you very much for watching my videos um, make sure to stay tuned make sure to hit that subscribe button and i hope you enjoy your rest of your summer cheers